let my grease come Grandma, in. Grandma, there is a beautiful gingerbread house. Isn't it pretty? It's Christmas time, isn't it? It is. Promise isn't and this I, thing pretty? Yes. Promise and I made this yesterday. It's the prettiest one that we have made. We make them every year, and they always fall apart. We can't get them to stick together. But this one, we just love it. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And I just wanted to show y'all mine and promises masterpiece here. So y'all going to be seeing it a lot before Christmas. Because <laughs> I'm going to use it as my thumbnail, as part of my thumbnail on some of my dishes. So when it fits, when it fits in. So, but uh, I just wanted to show y'all this morning. You did morning. good, Grandmama. Yeah, we did. Promise is really, really good at designing and decorating and deciding how she wants it. She's a lot better than I am. So most of this design was hers. I like your white uh, black over there too. And heaven and nature sing. Yes, yes. I like that. Yeah, that's, I like that one too. And uh, so this morning, we're going to be doing something totally different. Does not pertain to Christmas at all or the holidays. It pertains to my lunch. But it pertains to Roy's. <laughs> So, uh, I have told y'all on several videos before that we uh, grow rabbits and we harvest them and we put them in the freezer. Well, he asked me the other day, he said, honey, I'm getting ready for some fried rabbit. So, today, I'm going to fry him some rabbit for lunch. And I'm going to show y'all how I do it. This may turn some of y'all off, but hey, I was raised on it. When I was growing up, whatever my daddy, we lived out in the country, whatever my daddy brought in is what we ate a lot of times. And whether that was fish, deer, rabbit, squirrel, uh, quail, whatever it was. Now, we had pork chops, chicken, things like that, but a lot of times we had what daddy would kill for us to eat. So I grew up on rabbit, of course, and uh, and I still love it today. And it's one of Roy's favorite is rabbit. So that's what I'm going to be uh, fixing for y'all today. I've got my grease on behind me uh, getting hot. So I'm going to uh, take something out of the fridge, and then I'm going to come back in a few minutes and show you just how I'm going to fry this rabbit. So in addition to rabbit, for those who don't eat rabbit, you're going to slice up a pork loin and make some pork loin cho chops. Part, part of a pork loin, yep. And this is how I buy a big pork loin, and I will slice it up and, uh, and make pork chops out of it, or I will uh, use it in casseroles, like you saw me do a pork chop casserole with pasta, gluten-free pasta the other day. Uh, I will... Cut it in half, and I will uh, bake half of it in the oven and just use it as a pork roast. Uh, usually when I get one, I cut them in half, wrap them, put them in the freezer. And then that gives me the option to use them ever how I want to use them when I get ready to cook them. So, <clears throat> oh, honey, if you'll come around on this side. All right. Uh oh, some grease is heating up. Yes, it is. I'm going to season my pork loin exactly like I do my rabbit. Now, I've got my rabbit in buttermilk. And I do that because it gives me a really good crust. Because I'm using gluten-free flour. And with gluten-free flour, it doesn't give you as good a crust as uh, your regular wheat flour does. So... And in my flour, I've got salt, pepper. I've got a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and some roasted garlic powder. And sometimes I use roasted garlic. Sometimes I use just plain garlic. So I'm going to salt and pepper my rabbit. And while I'm doing this, I'll also do my pork chops. So I'm just going to salt and pepper one side, and then I'll do the other. So I can just fry them all at the same time. And my grease is almost hot enough. 
by the time I get this all done, it should be. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little garlic on my chops. And sometimes I use plain garlic, sometimes roasted garlic powder. It's just according. All right, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to salt and pepper it again. Okay, wipe my hands. Now, when I get through, this will go to the washing machine. So, okay. And that noise, if y'all can hear it in the background, is my uh, dishwasher. So, all right. Well, it ain't the main dishwasher, I can tell you that. <laughs> no, Roy's the main dishwasher. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to see all this. She's cooking in the kitchen and making these videos. She fills the sink full and I'm supposed to unfill it. And you do a really good job, baby. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I know. You do a really, really good you'd job. Be proud, you'd be proud of the dog if the dog would wash them. <laughs> and when I fry, I try to get all the, uh, the like big pieces together i'm hoping to get all this in one pan but i try to get all my big pieces uh in at the same time it's not quite hot enough i'm gonna turn it up just yeah, a little bit reacting quite enough no, is it? Mm -mm, okay. no so uh because if you when you get all your big pieces they cook at the same time so uh it's just better but i'm hoping to get it all in here and i'll just take my small pieces out uh, when they get done and just let my big pieces cook a little while longer. So I'm just going to continue to flour this. And as you can see, it's beginning to, beginning to come up now and uh, get almost hot enough. And it is. You hear it? You can, well, you may not can hear it because we got on these microphones. And you can't, oh, yeah. You can't hear as well. Okay. Now, these are the legs right here. Back legs. Is that right, honey? Mm-hmm. Okay. These are the back legs. And that is part of the rib cage. That's the loin. The loin. Both sides. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is your little front legs right here. And I'll probably make gravy when I get through because Roy likes gravy. And sometimes I'll fry them and I'll put them in gravy. And I'll uh, <clears throat> I put them in the gravy and just let them cook like for 15 or 20 minutes in that gravy. And he likes them like that too. So. Well, we're right. about to get some greens out of the garden. The first mess of greens. And fried rabbit or fried pork chop or fried chicken goes so well with fresh greens, collards or turnips or kale or cabbage. Cabbage. We've got some beautiful broccoli out of the out of the garden. We've got beaut a beautiful garden and we'll take y'all out there and show it to you one day. It's real it's cold out there today, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go out to the garden. But uh but I'm just gonna continue to get this all coated with flour and i think i'm gonna have to get some more flour and then uh when i get ready to turn this i'm it's probably gonna take probably for these bigger pieces about 20 minutes of course now i'm going to <coughs> excuse me i'm going to use my uh my thermometer and i'm going to check the internal temperature I want the internal temperature to be of the especially the big ones to be like 175 or 80 degrees so I always check them. The smaller ones, I pretty much know when they get ready. But the big ones, I always check the temperature. So I'm going to have to get some more flour. And these are going to continue to cook. And then when I get ready to turn them, I'm going to come back and show you what they look like. Beginning to look real good, Grandma. Isn't it? I've already taken up one of the smaller pieces. Okay. Now, these are big pieces because these were big rabbits. These rabbits weighed probably six pounds. But they were young. This one was a young rabbit. Yeah, they were young, but they were big. Yeah, okay. So, 
that is after let's see i put it on 15 minutes that this is after nine minutes and i've already taken one piece up and now i'm going to put a couple of more in i'm going to have more than one uh thing but i've got to cook my pork chops too so uh so i'll just cook some of this the rest of this in with my pork chops okay so we just gonna keep cooking and keep checking in and keep checking in yep i think grandmama is about to take up some more stuff or at least time Mm. that was 182 degrees and this one's 187 and they've been cooking about 22 minutes and that's the big leg so they're ready to come up mine 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 <laughs> and now let me check this one that's what the seagulls in looking for nemo yeah all right, this one's ready. Wow. Now I'm going to let these cook a little bit more because we like them kind of crunchy. Well, this one's ready. And that's just part of the rib. Okay, now pork chops. Cook them in the same grease. Cooking these on about medium high. Is that uh, medium mean? high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. All Whatever right. that is on your stove. Right. Mm -hmm. And I did cover cover them for about five minutes uh, with a lid, just so I could contain the heat inside, so it would get my uh, those big parts ready. So, all right, we're gonna continue to cook. Sister. Okay. This is our plate of. Um, rabbit and pork chops right here and this is roy's plate for lunch and uh he is fixing to taste and he is going to tell us this is his favorite 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 of just about everything this is my favorite goodest <laughs> food i love rabbit oh look how tender Ooh. oh let just me show them the meat, the baby. It's a white meat. It's like a chicken breast. See? It's like a chicken breast. It's absolutely with more flavor. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, it's between pork chop and chicken. Yes, it is. That is the flavor. Mm. It has no wild flavor because this is not wild rabbit. This is a tame rabbit that we that we uh, grow and harvest. So, and we keep them in our freezer all the time. Mm. Tell me, honey. Mm. Good. Nothing better. He can't talk for eating. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. He's just going to eat. He's not even going to talk. But I think that, that says it all right there. And this pork chop, look at that. Oh, yeah. Pork mm. chops, beautiful. So thank y'all for joining me this morning. I'm going to continue to let y'all watch him eat. And I'm, fixing to, I, I'm about to fix me a plate too. Thank y'all for joining us. Share this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit the little notification bell. Put deliciousness back in healthy food. And this is delicious. And it is totally gluten-free. This whole meal mm. Sugar-free, gluten-free. And remember, food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. We love y'all, and we'll see you next time.